Since capturing and transferring feral cats to a cat colony, the threatened marsh rabbits have been returning to visit the backyard and eat weeds and grass. These little-known rabbits are fascinating and adorable creatures. The marsh rabbit is a smaller and much darker version of the more familiar eastern cottontail rabbit, which is best known for its conspicuous cotton puff tail and long ears. By contrast, the marsh rabbit has a very small gray-brown tail and short ears. Marsh rabbits are almost dark chocolate colored and look similar to guinea pigs. A little white fur below the nose looks like a nose ring or a mustache. The marsh rabbit is found throughout Florida. It is distinguished from its cottontail cousin in another important way. It's a strong swimmer and is usually found close to water. In Florida, this habitat includes everything from fresh and brackish marshes to wet prairies and flooded agricultural fields. Breeding occurs year-round, but peaks in December through June. On average, a female marsh rabbit produces six or seven litters of two to four young per litter each year. The nests are lined with grass and breast fur and are located on the ground in thickets, stumps, or logs. By four weeks of age, the young rabbits are weaned and are foraging for themselves. There's plenty of excellent hiding places for their nests in the palmetto thicket underbrush of the pine and scrub oak forest. Marsh rabbits are most active at night, dusk and dawn the same time as many of their predators, owls, foxes, bobcats, and alligators are active as well. In the backyard, feral cats, bobcats, and the occasional coyote are the greatest threat. There are many, many more rats and mice than rabbits in the forest, and I think that the feral cats and bobcats probably take a lot of the rats and mice, and that takes some of the pressure off of the marsh rabbits. In collecting hundreds of hours of footage, I never once saw a rabbit taken by a predator, and they seem to be thriving. Their cousins, the cottontail, coexist in the forest, but in smaller numbers. They tend to prefer more open areas. There is really no grass in the forest understory. In fact, there's a very little green in the forest understory. Marsh rabbits eat a variety of plants found in and around wetlands, prairies, and forests, and do make forays into the backyard to eat grass, but stay pretty close to the safety of the fence line and nearby jungle when eating grass. The diet consists of a variety of marsh and swamp plants, ranging from grasses and cattails to moneyworts and blackberries. They also graze on invasive plants like water hyacinths and water lettuce. Since these foods are low in nutrition, they must be processed to extract as much energy from them as possible. Rabbits therefore excrete partially digested soft feces, 
known as cecal pellets, which they re-ingest for another trip through the digestive system, finally expelling the waste in the form of hard fecal pellets. In the South Florida Everglades, the invasive Burmese pythons are having a big impact on marsh rabbit populations. Here in Central Florida, large rat snakes are a threat to baby and young rabbits.